Hello beautiful people, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for clicking on another video. In today's video, we will be doing a 10 minute abdominal workout. We're gonna be strengthening that core, particularly the lower abdominal muscles, getting much stronger and improving our health. If you like this kind of video, please don't forget to give it a big thumbs up. Let me know what kind of videos you wanna see next in the comments and make sure that you subscribe for more workouts, healthy meals and lifestyle videos. If you wanna help support this channel and enable me to make more videos for you guys, then definitely share it with a friend and let's grow our little community of, you know, workout, lifestyle, internet friend buddies. <laughs> Don't forget to join me on Instagram, Twitter and Facebook and without further ado, let's get into the workout. You ready? <laughs> All right, no messing around, we are gonna get straight into the workout. Lying on the floor or a mat or a towel or whatever you're using, we're gonna start with flutter kicks and go. So the way to do this exercise is that you want your legs round about a 45 degree angle. Keeping the legs nice and straight, you can turn the feet out slightly if you wanna target the inner thigh adductors a little bit. And make sure that the lower back is pressed against the mat. If this is difficult, just slide your hands under your bottom um, to lift the bottom a little bit and press the lower back into the mat, squeezing the core nice and tight. Doing really well, just keep those legs a fluttering. And relax. Now this workout is suitable for beginners, so there's quite a generous rest period. If you feel like you don't need that much rest, then definitely feel free to uh, make the exercises last a little bit longer but 20 seconds will go quicker than you think so up to you and um, so yeah we're gonna go in with L's now same position ready and go so what you want to do is keep the legs nice and straight and we are just gonna make L's so really increasing that range of mo movement in the hips getting a nice stretch in the hamstring and um, but keep your leg nice and straight again point the toes turn the feet slightly outwards I don't want you to be putting down the leg though as it comes for the bottom of the L okay and um, keep it up off the floor so we're not being lazy with it we're being intentional and carrying the weights of our legs which by the way are about to feel a whole lot heavier than usual but that's what we're here for we're here to work doing really well and relax well done and we are going to be staying on uh, the mat for the next one too. We are doing some knee circles. Um, so as though you've got like lasers shooting out of your knees, you're going to try and draw a circle on the ceiling with those lasers. Does that make sense? It is about to ready and go. So draw that circle, make it nice and big. Um, the as you come down to the bottom of the circle, you'll find that your legs kind of straighten out and that's what you want. So you wanna keep your lower back in one place. I don't want you rolling all over the mat. Keep it nice and controlled, but try and make that circle as big as you can. Now we're doing two one way, two the other way. You'll find a little bit of tension each time that you swap directions. That's okay, that's intentional. And um, just keep it moving two one way and two the other way. Well done and relax. And the next exercise that we're going to do will be some ankle taps. So tapping the ankles together looks easy, but it shouldn't be if you do it right. <laughs> How are you feeling? You okay? You keeping up? You got this. Well done for choosing to do this. Ready and go. Straightening out the legs, holding them round about a 45 degree angle. I just want you to tap your feet together. If that feels too easy, lower your legs lower your legs a little bit lower okay pressing the lower back into the mat holding the core if it feels really tough lift the legs up a bit higher but definitely challenge yourself push yourself tapping those feet together keeping the legs nice and straight if you bend at the knee it will make it a little bit easier if you need to but you're doing really well keep tapping keep tapping and relax for 20 seconds and the next exercise that we'll be doing, we're going back into knee circles again, um, two one way and two the other way. Feel free to kind of stretch the lower back and, you know, mess around in this break. I mean, it's not that long, but you know, feel free. Okay, but not too free because we're starting again and go. Getting those circles nice and big, really controlling. So you've got a little bit of a twist when you're doing this, okay? So you really do have to use the core to stabilize the body, which is one of its very important functions. So yeah, really control the movement. But as you come to the bottom of that circle, stretch the legs out so that they are nice and straight. 
Um, you might even be drawing a bit more of an oval, but that's okay. It's not an art class, it's a workout class, okay? So we're aiming to push ourselves. You're doing really well to one way, to the other, and relax. Smashing it, guys. Absolutely smashing it. I do not know what accent that was. I apologize. I will stop. We're going back in with the flutter kicks. I love these. Make sure that your legs are nice and low. That is how you're going to feel the burn and strengthen that core. Ready and go. It's like it's like a little a little swimmer kind of. Can you tell that I'm not a very good swimmer? So just keeping those legs nice and straight. Squeezing the lower abdominal muscles back pressed into the floor. You do not want a little mouse to be able to run under there. You want to keep that integrity of the spine. So if you arch your back, you're going to put a lot of pressure on the lower back, which is not what we want. And actually, that's not the prime position in order to get full use of the abdominal muscles. So make sure you're contracting them and relax. You're doing so well. Smashing it. Then we're going to go and collect some more L's, except we're not collecting L's. We're winning because we're working hard and that counts. So well done for doing this. But we will be doing some L's, just an unfortunate name. Um, ready and go. Um, I messed it up to start with saws. You want them like slicing like scissors through the through the air, um, but controlled scissors, not crazy wild scissors. You want to keep it nice and controlled. Again, you can use your hands to help prop up your bottom a little bit to press the lower back into the mat. Don't just drop down that leg, keep control of it, moving nice and slowly well controlled you can turn out the feet and point your toes to work the inner thighs as well doing really well and relax awesome so then we're going to go back into ankle taps can you feel the burn i hope so you should be able to if you can't lower your legs lower your legs and uh give it your all you've got this you're doing really well Ready and go. Legs at a 45 degree ankle, an ankle, <laughs> ankle tapping, sorry, my bad. Keep tapping, <laughs> keep tapping your ankles, you're doing really well. Um, yeah, just, just, just keep tapping. I don't, I don't really have that much more to say. So I'll, I'll stop saying stuff. You got this, I'm proud of you, motivation. You're doing really well. And relax. You'd think that I would pause this here and re-record the voiceover, but I'm, I'm not going to. I'm just going to leave that in. I'm just going to leave that in for your entertainment. Um, we are going to finish off with some leg circles, but this time we're not doing two each way and two the other way. We're just going to keep going in one direction like a clock for the whole of it ready and go now this time i want you to really push yourself these are the last exercises so i want your legs to come nice and low at the bottom of the circle really stretching them out so you're kind of like in a straight like pike position controlling the movement using those knees to draw that huge laser beam circle on the ceiling keeping it nice and controlled as you tip a little bit to the side but keeping the lower back flat on the mat, you're doing really well. Just a few more and relax. And then we are gonna repeat that, but on the other side. You're nearly there, guys. Doing so well. I think that, you know, so many people neglect working the core and it is super important for everything, for like functional movement um, and, you know, preventing injury. So you should be proud of yourself. Ready and go. On the other side, big circles. You can use your hands to stabilize you a little bit. Exhaling as the legs stretch out at the bottom. You're doing really well. Keep going, just a few more. Really reaching those legs nice and long, not letting them touch the floor. Controlling the movement, making it last a little bit longer to feel that burn. Just one more big circle. You finished, you did it. You done, done, diddly did it. Did it done. Well done. Thank you so much for working out with me. I will see you guys in my next video. Love you, bye.